Good evening, myself and Post. It is Tuesday, June the 12th of June 2012. That's your edition today. I found the worst website in the world. Let's have a look at that after the intro. Bells. So, I like drums. I like looking at drums that I can't afford. Anything I can't afford is interesting to me. Now, let's have a look at this website about drums. Brilliant. Okay, now my iris is locked. Let's have a look at this site. Um, home of RCI Versatile International. Let's not focus on the actual content, just the production. You'll notice in the background there are stars. Stars are actually moving. That's rather distracting. It kind of makes me want to vomit. Um, you can click on these guys. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but they're falling down. And it's, oh dear, what the hell was that? Okay, I'm going to get out of that. <laughs> and, um, we've got the scrolling text. Good old scroll text, and then everything's on the very left side. It's not cropped down to the to a four three monitor. Just uses the entire thing. That JPEG compression on like a two forty p image, and then there's a good old GIF of the world. Every website used to have that, and then there's the um the classic little the view count to see how many people have actually viewed the um viewed the website. So, and that's. That's the little tour of the website. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Righto, so instead of studying, I'm browsing the internet and I found this thing. Um, so I'm gonna read that now. I'm sorry, elderly lady on a crowded bus staring at me, expecting me to get up and give her my seat. For you see, I have taken a copious amount of mushrooms today and I am no longer sure if my legs are attached to my body or not. Please stop staring. Is what I think my friend was trying to say. Here's what he actually texted me. Shrooming on bus. Old lady staring. Question. Are legs always attached to your body or do you need to press a button? When this thing stops, I'm going to run, with or without legs. Well, that was amusing. I got a package in the mail from my uncle who lives in China, hence the weird things. And then it says China Post. Let's have an unboxing video. Yeah, I wonder what it is. I've got some scissors ready. That was really well prepared. Didn't even plan to get this in the mail today, but I just happened to have some scissors. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should put on a tripod. That's an excellent idea, Jackie. Just full of them. Here's a little tripod for my phone. Just shove it on there, and I'll just place it here so I can sit down while I do it. That's a new concept. Sitting down. Haven't done that for a while. Okay, here we go. Just open this up. We appear to have another package inside. Woo! Well, that's exactly what I've wanted. I'm gonna try to. He's insane at taping things up. Come on, let's go. I need to open. All right, we're working very slowly on this, but we are progressing um, in some way. Wow. Okay. Oh wow, jackass. Um. The show. I've got the majority of the movies I haven't watched in forever. I saw a trailer for it on TV the other day, like the first one. I don't know why it was on TV because it's rather old. That's good. I should watch that sometime. Who knows? Is that what you do with DVDs? Not sure. Anyway, better go now. Sorry about the uninteresting vlog. It was a rather uninteresting day. Carlos and I went to see um, Men in Black 3. It was rather good. Well, well shot. Well written. The concept was rather. Well, good. The ending. It was fantastic. Um, 3D, however. Not a big fan of 3D, but I guess that's kind of unavoidable going into that massive thing again where the one thing happens and it's kind of improved from the 80s. And then they, everything does it and you can't get away from it. I heard, um, I forget which movie it was, but one director shot it specifically on 2D just so he could be unique. So, shooting a movie in 2D. <laughs> is now unique because everything is in 3D and I really don't like it. Anyway, wow, I've eaten a lot of shit today, haven't I? Actually just tonight, within the last few hours, I've had five packets of shape, a can of coke and three Freddos. Fancy that. Pretty sure I'm pregnant. Wow, I just got an inbox.